Alright, so I've made some tweaks on the platen and on the machine, changed the bar. That uh, helped out quite a bit. Uh, made some adjustments here with the wheels. <clears throat> Adjusted this wheel, moved it in a little bit. Uh, this I noticed wasn't square. That could have been from the uh, return ship. Um, it moved around quite a bit. You can see there where it's wore. I'll replace those. Uh, so that might have cocked the motor a little bit. Uh, it's running really straight now. I'll demonstrate that. I have the uh, weights out of the big wheel there because I was working and so I don't want to rock too much because it vibrates quite a bit. Run it too fast on me, you can actually see it vibrate. <laughs> I learned about that fast. But this is in good shape. You can see the belt track's nice. It's even and straight. That's what you want to have for uh, good even plunges. Is a straight belt. Two nine zero four zero. Two nine oh three five. All right, so I think I'm ready to. I feel like I'm ready to send it back. All right, I feel like I'm ready for it to go back. Um, I'm going to send this back with it since it's already uh, squared to the machine. I probably should have had you send uh, this mount back with the machine so I could uh, check it. Um, Now you can make minor adjustments on these, uh, you know, like with a rubber mallet. If something's out of square, you can, you have to hit it harder than that, but you know, don't just bash it to death. But these will give just a little bit or stretch or flex just a little bit. So you can get some adjustment out of it if you wanted to work on or you try the mount that you got and you could uh, try to tune it up a little bit by you know making some uh, hammer adjustments or you know down if you need to square it or this vertical piece you can hit it top or the bottom you know to get it to twist this way and that way There isn't anything else that I can think of that needs to be done. It's running straight, the mount straight. This is uh, sliding good.